Welcome to Traditional Toys with the JICC. In this series of videos, we will show you a variety of toys that we have at our center, tell you a bit about their background or history, and show you how to play with them. Today's featured toy is the Kendama. The Kendama is a popular juggling toy in Japan. However, it is thought to have originated in 16th century France. It was then introduced to Japan via the Silk Road during the Edo period. Then, in the Meiji period, the kendama was incorporated into children's education, and after World War II, it began to be sold in candy stores alongside other popular traditional toys. Now there are even kendama competitions. The kendama's popularity continues to grow abroad as well. The kendama consists of a ball and string connected to a handle with three cups, one on the bottom, a smaller cup, and a bigger cup. On the top is the spike, which can also hold the ball when not in use. The goal is to be able to juggle the ball from the three cups, spiking the ball with the top spike, and finding new ways to balance the ball on the handle. Let's learn how to juggle with the kendama. Juggling the kendama requires a good stance. This stance involves bending one's knees and lifting upward with the arm to toss the ball up onto the cups or on the spike. There are a couple ways to grip the kendama, but one useful way is to grip it below the cups. Here is a slowed down look at juggling the kendama. The movements are small and quick. Due to the kendama's wooden nature, it can sometimes be a bit dangerous to play with. Here are some kendama don'ts so you and your friends can be safe while playing with it. Now let's watch some JICC staff try it out. Hope you enjoyed learning about the kendama and have thought of your own way to master it. Thank you for watching.